new, 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 new. All right, new products. Okay. Before we get to new products, which is new products, I just want to mention, if you want to get a newsletter, and this is not Data for Daily, this is a regular newsletter that we have, if you have an account, if you've signed in, if you said, yes, I would like a new product newsletter, you have to try really hard. Um, we still might not send you one, but uh, it, it's the uh, new, 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 new newsletter. Yeah. You know, the Cartoon Network had a commercial, and it was like, new, 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 new. We saw that. You think they stole it from us? No. No, I think people who are celebrating new. They know. Ultimately, because it's a very singable. Mm, yeah. New, 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 new. New, new, All right. Um, sign up on our page for uh, the CMD51 product line. It's yeah. in there right now. Um, we got asked about this, so it's a coming soon page, but you can sign up. Yeah, we don't have chips yet. We don't have chips yet, but enough people said, it. when will you have those in? I will buy everything instantly, so we have a sign-up page. Um, as we mentioned before, Adabox is celebrating one year. One year. So when we put out the Adabox for subscribers, eventually we put an Adabox in. It's not everything. Yeah, that, you don't get the collectibles or any yeah, of the special discounts yeah, or but, any of the... But you can get the stuff. Thing. But you get almost everything that's in the box. Not the cake. There's no cake. There's no cake. Yeah. So it's tasty looking cake. Yeah. Um, that's a chocolate outrage cake. Yeah. So. But you do get the box. We just put an Adabox four in. We did. Today. So if you would like to pick up Adabox four, maybe you are a subscriber and you want another box, or maybe you didn't get to subscribe and you'd like to see what it's like. Um, Adabox four is an ESP H sixty six feather and our music maker feather wing with amplifier and a speaker and a remote control you can see up there and power supply and a SD card and we give uh, you a free album with it and you can build your own internet connected music projects or just music projects on internet connected so we have a couple of example demos like we have a Wi-Fi radio you can build that plays um, music from uh, SF MoMA sorry SF uh, what's the name of the thing I can't remember the the name of the um, It'll come to me in a second. So it's an internet radio show that I, I can't remember, but they have multiple different channels and you can uh, subscribe to um, internet radio. You can put music on the SD card. You can use the IR remote to change channels yeah. or change songs. You can use sensors from previous Ada boxes as well. So it's kind of like a music making yeah. fun time. Music maker. Music maker. Okay. So that's your Ada box and you get uh, pretty much everything that you would have gotten in the Ada box. Uh, you don't get free shipping, you don't get the collectibles, and you don't get a discount. Yeah, but it's for the folks who just found out about it and want to catch up. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Sweet. Book, this is by our friend Mark DeVink. The same Mark DeVink who drove us through Pennsylvania. Yeah, so this is, it's a full circle. So uh, Mark, I hired, I hired him when I was at Make, and he went on to do a ton of stuff with Make Magazine, and now he's a author and he writes books with Make, and this is a good one. This is electricity for young makers. Yeah, so this is kind of fun. It's, yeah. It's, um... A very uh, beautiful graphical book. It's one of They're, my favorite make books, by the way. Yeah, that. this is nice. I like it's really cartoony. It had a little bit of like the how tunes style, but yeah, more text. I'll tell you what I like about this. Yeah. Much like chemistry books, which um, I got a chance to, to work on at Make, you know, chemistry and electricity, it's like, oh no, the children, like, what if they, what if they learn electricity? Like, it, for some reason, chemistry and electricity are considered so terrible and bad, so it's good to get kids. Uh, understanding what it is like model rockets were okay at one point this is cool you can make your own speaker okay. and stuff yeah. this is fun so it's neat because they it, it won't be as scary and they'll understand more of it doesn't mean they're going to be like shocking themselves or anything because they're going to know more yeah. so I thought that was a good um, I thought that was a good book for, for kids because yeah, we get asked neat. a lot so it's in our uh, book section and our young maker section Mike Gray did the art yeah. nice work Mike Gray it's really beautiful art so um, he's a now yeah he's a professor but he uh, wrote this uh, instructor he wrote this book yeah. for kids he's a really good teacher and uh, and he drove us to look at pickup and places. He, he drove us through Pennsylvania so that's why you should pick in up a this minivan book. in a minivan okay it was fun I like minivans okay uh, next up it's a plastic box it's it's the back of a Smarty Pie so we actually have had these cases for a bit and now there's an accessory for them so I thought I'd show it off this is for the Raspberry Pi seven inch display. Yeah. You can now add this box on the back. Oh, it's got screwed in, so I can't remove it. But um, normally it doesn't have this, this thing that pops onto the back, but uh, we now have two yeah. sizes. Yeah. So we have slim. Do you want me to show both and then you can show both? Yeah, sure. Okay. So then we have the, um, the thicker one. Yeah, so you, you can uh, screw it on. It comes with screws. And there's a bigger one, so you can add like a lot of hardware. So if you want to add sensors or... Um, 
you know, like a hard drive or something inside of there. You can have it all inside of the case. Um, and we, so you have two sizes. Um, pick the one you want. If you just want, you know, a single hat, the slim one's fine. If you want to have more space, a spacious, yeah. this is kind of a nice. This is neat. The Smarty is cool because it turns the pie into like this little standalone yeah, computer, and then it's the, got like the a backing Lego pr- compatible protects all the stuff. Yeah. yeah, so this is nice and strong. And then, you know, the Raspberry Pi still has all the ports accessible over here, and then you've got the screen in front, and it's yeah. got like a nice. Tiltable. Yeah, and that is a Lego mount in the back. It's a Lego mount, and and they did such. A, we were gonna like, oh, should we design like a case for the? I think everything for should this have thing? a Lego mount. And honestly, they did such a good job. Oh, you know what? No and Pedro, if you're watching, probably are. Maybe we should put little Lego mounts on some of our 3D printed enclosures. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Or injection molded ones. Ooh. Yeah, this is nice, but it's like, yeah, you and you can do that. Because then you can Lego put, even All you just need is it. one little spot, then you can yeah. put all the Legos on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you can attach things. Maybe like have a little camera controller or something attached. Anyways, it's a, it's a really nice um, little case for the screen, so check that out. Okay. Really well made. Speaking of electricity, <laughs> I guess we were. This is cool. This is an updated product, but it's so updated, I was like, it's kind of a new product. So this is version two of the uh, digitalloggers.com, it's like this group in the US that makes these really wonderful controllers, and this is a... Uh, relay box, but they finally made a relay box that I'm like, this is the thing that people want. So there's four outlets, and one of the outlets is always on. So you can power your project from within the relay box, and then it can control the rest of the relays. So I thought I could I could show it on the overhead because it's a little okay. It's a little confusing. So hold on, I'll make sure I don't drop this in a disaster. So this is a, a lamp. So here you hold the lamp. I like lamp. You like lamp. And I'll get this out of the way too. Okay, so here's the relay box. And um, these outlets are normally off. And this outlet's always on. And this outlet is connected to this Arduino that I have. And when you turn it on, uh, this just takes a second to start up because it's got Arduino running. So give it a moment. And then this is going to click it on and off. So you can hear the click because it's got a relay. And what's nice is this stays on all the time. So it can control, you know, up to like, 30 amps or something ridiculous, maybe 20 amps. Let me see what it says. Yeah. 12 amps. Um, the the relays are, are actually much bigger, but uh, power cords probably aren't good enough for more than 12. But it can do 12 amps, and it can control two outlets. So you can have two devices, and then you can have one that's the alternate, so it's the opposite way. And then this is opto-isolated and everything. It's just wonderful. So if you want to do internet-controlled yeah. um, projects, and you want it like one plug and then you can plug your your circuitry and the thing you want to control in at once yeah. this will do that job let me say you. this as someone who's around a lot of people who make projects or want to make projects it always seems like a good idea like oh i'll just you i'll make a relay and i'll just like do it myself so this is a really good way to avoid a lot of tragedy with your projects because yeah, not, not just like dangerous, but you could you could accidentally short your project and blow it up. I'm not. Sad. Uh, yeah, I'm not too. The danger part usually doesn't happen, but the the project uh, blowing up or getting damaged, and then you have to redo That's it. So sad. Um, I've totally had that happen when I yeah, worked on high voltage. Time is a, a hard thing to get back. Yeah. So this. that's why I like these. So this is my favorite now because it has an always on switch. You plug your project into that. It powers a recharge. You know, and of course, you can yeah. have it on battery as well, battery backup. But then. Um, it can control like a more advanced control. version of the power switch tail yeah, for, so the, this is, for the folks who remember Well, the that. power switch tail has been discontinued, so this yeah. is our replacement. Yeah. Okay. I like the power switch tail, but the fellow is like, I'm no longer making them. He's retiring. Okay, next up. Oh, we got the Seger J-Link Mini EDU. This is really, really great. Um, this is for people who want to use Cortex-M processors, so like Cortex-M0, uh, M3, M4. Uh, Etc. And they're the cores that are used in most chips. Uh, so if you're using like the NRF52 or you're using the SAMD or the STM32s, those are all Cortex chips. And I uh, probably want to debug them and program them. You'll need an SWD debugger programmer. And that's what this is. And we sell the big chunky J-Links and that's what I use uh, for commercial work. But if you're a student and you don't want to get the big chunky J-Link and you're only using the Cortex M chips, they now have a simplified version that only supports Cortex M, and it's only like twenty bucks, and it's like super slim and compact. You plug it in, and, and you know you can plug yeah. in your SWD cable, and um, you know I you know you can use uh, FTDI chips for SWD, and I know that you can use um, 
you know, people can do like a, a Simsys DAP with, you know, open OCD. And, and there's a lot of adapters that work quite well. But uh, I'll be honest, the J-Links just work. They work really well. Um, you know, even if your chip is bricked, it'll always kind of bring it back to life. It always can reset the device and get it talking. Um, every chip maker always gives J-Link, you know, all the feedback and, and software they need to make the best adapter. So this is kind of what I suggest. Honestly, if you're going to get into doing step debugging or programming of, of Cortex-M chips, which if you're doing electronics these days, you absolutely will, this will do ya, and it does debugging. Um, we tried it with that Mal Studio, it works great. So yeah. it'll work within the IDE, it looks just like a J-Link, but it's just less expensive and smaller. It's got an SWD connector already on it. Uh, it comes with like a big cable, but you'll probably just want to pick up at the same time a, a smaller 10-pin okay. SWD cable, but it has the same, the right pin out and it'll match up. So if you're a student, um, or if you're just learning electronics, this is a really, really good option. Nice option, thanks to Seger because they sell commercial stuff. Yeah, they sell you know the, the commercial adapters, but they're like, you know what? Uh, we want to make sure students also have something. And so this is okay. Really nice. This will last you a very long time. Very rugged, and will and there, there's uh, infinite software updates. So there, you constantly can update it to support new chips. So when the NRF52 came out. Uh, yeah. You know, you plug in the J-Link and you start the J-Link software, it'll automatically download the like, update. Like, hey, new chip. And it's like, hey, now you support this new chip, so you don't have to worry about, like, That's oh, cool. is it out of date, or do you have to wait for OpenOCD to, like, support it? It's always supported in J-Link. Okay. Next up, the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada. It's a little breakout. It's a little breakout. I know, it's so teeny. Um, we'll have more exciting breakouts soon. This is just a uh, touchscreen breakout for one millimeter touch screens, uh, which we stock and be, are becoming the standard. So it just kind of takes that connector and breaks it out into four pins. I'm gonna show it to you really fast, this is it. And then, you know, you have a touch screen like so. Uh, this is like a seven inch touch screen, but they come in, you know, every size and you want to add a touch screen to your project. Or you, know, you can just use it as like an XY grid. It's kind of nice, you can just touch it with your finger or with the stylus. And um, you just plug it in and now you can connect it easily to your microcontroller or whatnot, we have code and such that you can use. It's a, uh, a dual uh, pin connector, so you can use it either upside or downside. So either way, it'll it'll work either way, because sometimes they're the right way up and sometimes they're the right way down. Um, so both will work and it just makes it very easy to connect to your touchscreen for touchscreen glory. Okay. So check that out. Little friend, very handy. Meep, meep. Next week, we'll have some more exciting breakouts, but this is a useful one. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada does new products. Yay. Good work. Thank you. New products are Yay. The end. Okay. <laughs>